about ready to split some wood today but before I begin that I want to talk a little bit about my McCulloch mishap or McCulloch miracle if you want to look at, at it that way because it's back and running and when you see the pictures of it burying the ground you wouldn't think it would be I was cutting this uh, one big oak down here and as you can see around the edge it's got some punky wood uh, this leaned into another one became a, a widow maker or hang up however you want to call it and I had to go chunk the portions of the stump out to bring this down Saw got pinched, saw fell to the ground, tree fell on this saw. So, I get some video of that. Let me show you what happened. Let me show you how I fixed it. That's the miracle part. So when I cut this tree down yesterday, the crotch of it landed right in the tree next to it. So what I did was uh, I chunked up some of the trunk that was holding the crotch up into the uh, other tree made it almost vertical and on the left side of that crotch I'm going to tie a rope around I'm going to hook it onto my tractor and pull it hopefully it will spin disengage the crotch from the trunk of the tree and it'll come down uh, one casualty we had was Mr. McCulloch Titan 50 got stuck in a cut and I was trying to cut it out and the whole thing came down and squashed it owes me nothing I bought that in 1993 I'll see what it looks like after it comes out of there but I don't have much hope I have a whole nother saw I could probably put together something I don't know if I want to or not so let's get to this maybe a little bit difficult to see but I've thrown a uh, small weight up on the tree and over that one little branch I have a pound and a half iron weight from weightlifting that I put on that it's easy to throw got a first shot now what I have to do is I have to tie my regular uh, rope onto this pull it up and over and then I'll be able to run it over to the tractor Okay, now the idea is to roll this around, pull this. I don't know if she's going to pull, but we're going to try. See if Coyote's got the oomph to get this thing done. The coyote tugged it and made it pivot enough to come off the tree. I had the Coyote position almost 100 feet up there because of the woods. I didn't want to have the thing pull me backwards not knowing where it was going to fall or how it was going to fall. The tractor's only about 2,000 pounds. But yeah, it's down. Now we can continue. Yeah, she's got a bend right, right up in there. I'll see what I could do about straightening it. Give it a try. Okay, here we are in the shop with the McCulloch that was buried under the branch in the woods. Quite traumatic for me. I bought the saw new, had it forever, sawed cord after cord after cord of wood with it. So what are the damages? Well, obviously the bar. I don't know how well you can see that in the camera, but it's pretty kitty wampus. Looks like a two by four you get off the top of the stack at Home Depot. I have another one coming, sold through Tractor Supply. No, I'm not a sponsor, but I have liked this bar the few times I've used it before it got buried. And I want to give it a fair shake. Didn't use it enough. Uh, chain, I don't know if I'm going to be able to save this or not, but it's a safety chain that came with the bar. I've just been using it to test it out. Got the saw out of the woods, out of the dirt, and brought it in here. Tried pull starting it a couple times. All I got was a puff of smoke here and there. Obviously an ignition problem. The saw had been laying on its side, similar to this, underneath the tree during a rainstorm. It rained over an inch and a half. So I figured it out, better start looking at the electrics. Took everything apart, and sure enough, there was water all down on the side here. Ignition, 
all full of water and all kind of goop and chips and who knows what all wrapped around in there. So I cleaned it out, blew it out, used the hairdryer to dry the electronics out and get ready to put it back together, see what happens. But that, I was surprised this cover got a couple of little things in a couple of the, whatever these bars are damaged, but I'm not going to worry about that. I think I have two more of these out in the shed. Every time I see them come up on eBay for sale, I just grab one because I don't like to play with rewinding them. That's it. Let's start putting it back together. The lights are dim for a reason. I think I may have spark. Let's see right here. You should see spark in the plug. Turn the switch on. I'm seeing spark. Man, do I smell a lot of gas. I was pulling it for a while. That's full of gas. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. Fixed up, cutting wood, back in the stable again. Actually, I've used it a couple more times. I have a new uh, bar and chain for it in the garage I had to put on. Good saw. Glad I didn't lose it forever. So, she lives. It had its uh, one life taken away, so she's only got the eight lives left. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Please like and subscribe.